So I'll say just just to share, just to share, you know, a little bit in terms of Yom Hazikaron. So we know that today, today, Yom Hazikaron, so Eretz Yisrael's Day of Remembrance is, is the day on which we remember the 24,213 men, women, and children actually who have, who have died since 1860, right? Again, in the, in the, in the initial struggles, right? E even before the establishment of the state, but for the struggles ultimately of establishing Jewish habitation in Eretz And I will say, I just want to, I'll mention it more tomorrow again, but I, I just want to point out that no matter, no matter like, how you feel about the Medina, right? I always think about this every year, that these days of Yom HaZikor and Yom HaSmut often get shrouded in like a lot of hashkafic controversy, right? In other words, is the establishment of the state of Israel, Aschalta de Geula, is the beginning of messianic process, is not the beginning of messianic process, to, to a certain degree, to a certain degree, okay, that, that's a legitimate like theological debate just like by the way just like the opinions that say that the concept of a state doesn't have a place within the within again th these are all theological and religious and hashkafic debates which which are legitimate and absolutely should be had in other words a person should always be secure enough in their particular beliefs that they could hear someone else espouse their beliefs but but one thing is clear one thing is clear whatever you think the role of the state is in the progression of jewish destiny we are privileged to live in a time where there is a jewish homeland and we are privileged to live in a time a privileged living i was say i was supposed to go to Eretz Yisrael this week whatever i, I had to had, unfortunately I had to end up canceling my plans but but the notion that like i had a ticket that i could just cancel that I could rebook, you know, a minute later if I needed to, and be in my ancestral homeland within just a couple of hours. Within just a couple of hours, it is an incredible, incredible zuchus, an overwhelming zuchus that generations before us did not have. And I almost think what we recognize is that zuchus and that privilege comes with a very, very steep price. Very steep price. Literally, just yesterday afternoon, as the Jewish people in Eretz Yisrael were getting ready, were getting ready to go ahead and begin Yom HaZikaron remembrances. There was a terror attack right outside of Machina Yehuda. And I will say, if you saw the pictures, you will definitely recognize that spot, right? That, that, that intersection is right behind Lev Yerushalayim, right by this, the bakery, uh, I think it's um, Nechama Bakery or Neman Bakery, right on the corner, and it's the street you cross right when you walk into the Shuk. I guarantee you, those of us, so there, are, there are many of us here who have gone through that intersection many, many, many times. It is the price that Cloud Yisrael pays to have a homeland, has always been steep, has always been steep. And the need to go ahead and on this Yom HaZikaron, take a few moments. And I wanna tell you, if, you're, if your children are not getting something in school about this, which it happens, you know, schools have different tashkafas also, give them something at home. Give them something at home. And remind them that today is the day that in Eretz Yisrael, Jews pause. And you know, in Eretz Yisrael, ain bayis asher ain shames. There's no family that doesn't go to a cemetery on Yom HaZikaron for someone, for someone. There's no such thing as a family who hasn't been touched by this sacrifice. And there's no such thing as a family who hasn't been touched by this tragedy. Every single family. And if you're lucky enough that it's not in your immediate family, then it's your neighbor, it's your friend. And also if you think about it, imagine having a day where everyone, virtually everyone in the entire country, has a grave of someone who is somehow connected to them who has fallen, who has fallen in the defense and in the establishment and in just for living in Eretz Yisrael. It's an overwhelming thing. And it behooves us just to take a few moments, just to be able to reflect on the loss and to express our hakara satov, our gratitude for those shemasru nafsham, who literally have been willing to give their life. Again, both say people give their lives in different ways. There are soldiers who give their life in the act of securing the state of Israel, there are victims of terror who also die al Kiddush Hashem. For what crime? For the crime of creating a Jewish presence within Eretz Yisrael. So I saw yesterday, there was actually Mayor Raskis sent me a link. There was a live stream to the Yom HaZikaron ceremony in the Knesset. And it was, I want to share with you, I want to share with you two things, two things that I saw that um, were, were absolutely overwhelming. They, they interviewed the mother of a soldier. The soldier's name was Bar 
Palach, Palach. So he was 30 years old. He died, he died in an operation in Jenin. It's one of these special forces soldiers who died in an operation in Jenin. And they were interviewing the mother, interviewing the whole family. And she was talking about like the incredible outpouring of support. And they looked like a, they looked like a, a Chiloni type family, but the, the Amuna that was coming out and the optimism that was coming out and commitment to Eretz Yisrael and to Am Yisrael that was coming out. And she was talking about how all of her son's friends from the army now became her extended family. And it was incredible. It was, it was such a, it was such a chizik. And the way, the way like her interview ended, she said this phrase, and I wrote it down right after she said it. She said, Achshav yeshli yoter midai. She says, I have like too much. She was talking about the beautiful family that she has, the outpouring of support. Aval enli klum. Achshav yeshli yoter midai. I have so much. Aval enli klum. But without my son, I have nothing. And I will say that, that, that phrase by itself, just that statement was so powerful. Because it's not just a statement of a mother. It's a statement of a people. It's a statement of a people. We have everything. We have everything. We have everything as a people. Not everything, everything. We need a basic name Mashiach. But when you look at what we have relative to past generations, we have so much. But yet again, when we lose one neshama in Liklum, we feel so bereft. We feel so empty. We feel like we're lacking so much. They then interviewed the widow of, of Noam Raz. So you remember again, Noam Raz was also one of these um, from the Yamam unit, like one of these counter, one of these guys who just do like incredible things that no one ever knows about. So Noam Raz was killed on May 13th, 2022. And they were interviewing his widow, and, and she said the most incredible thing. She said, she said, when is it that if you have perfume in a bottle, if you have perfume in a bottle, she said, when is it that you smell the perfume? She said, only once the bottle is smashed. When the bottle is smashed, then the fragrant aroma ultimately again comes out. She, and obviously the metaphor that she was giving was her husband was that bottle of perfume who no one ever knew about. And then he's killed, then he's killed in order to safeguard Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael. The flask is smashed. So the fragrant aroma of who he was, of what he did, and his mesiras nefesh for Klal Yisrael suddenly becomes known to all. And I will say, I thought that it was such a powerful metaphor for what Yom HaZikaron is. You know what Yom HaZikaron is? Yom HaZikaron is the day in which we remember that so many flasks have been smashed over the years. But with the smashing of the flask, one gets to really truly take in the fragrant aroma of who Kalal Yisrael really is. Yom HaZikaron is the day of Arayach Nicholach. Yom HaZikaron is the day when we get to go ahead and smell the incredible pleasing aroma of Mesiras Nefesh of what it means to be part of a klal, where young men, women, and children are willing to give of themselves for what? For what? For the sake of Am Yisrael, for the sake of Medina Yisrael. And I'm both saying, it's a very humbling and sobering feeling. Because the truth is, we 6,000 miles away, we have to figure out, where's our Mesiras Nefesh? Right? What are we willing to struggle for? What are we willing to sacrifice for? Where's our skin? In the collective, in the collective game of Am Yisrael, what are we contributing? What are we doing we, today? We remember, we remember what so many have contributed. They pay the ultimate price with their lives for what? For us, that Am Yisrael should have Eretz Yisrael in an uncontested fashion, the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate price, so that we could have this incredible gift. Today is the day that the flask has been smashed, and we smell that incredible, overwhelming aroma of Mesiras Nefesh, of Kiddush Hashem. And I will say, as we, as, we, as we ingest that aroma of Mesiras Nefesh, as we ingest that aroma of Kiddush Hashem, should inspire us to do great things for Klal Yisrael as well. Should inspire us to push ourselves a little bit more, to do a little bit more, to sacrifice a little bit more, to promote Avas Yisrael, Achdos. You know, a soldier doesn't get on the battlefield and say, you know what, 
I'm only protecting the Chilonim in my Yishuv, or I'm only protecting the Haredim who live in my town. A soldier puts on his uniform, soldier picks up his rifle, soldier goes out to war, and who is he protecting? He's protecting every single Jew. You're religious, you're not religious. You want judicial reform, you don't want judicial reform. It doesn't make a difference. The soldier protects Am Yisrael. That's what it means to be a soldier of Am Yisrael. And even if we're not wearing the uniform and not carrying the weapon, each of us has the obligation to try to be a soldier of Am Yisrael as well. Figure out what can we do for our people? What can we do for our Am? How can we somehow secure and make Am Yisrael just a little bit stronger, even in our own little way? And that's the chus. And that's the chus of internalizing the pleasing aroma of the sacrifices of so many. And there's a chus of taking in the aroma of the broken flask. May we zochem Amir Hashem to give an aliyah to the neshamas of all of those who we remember today. And Amir Hashem put Klal Yisrael just a little bit closer to the ultimate destination of Gulam here, Abiyamenu.